Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started removing the interior. The, uh, the new leather seat should be arriving fairly soon. So um, I figure the back seats are uh, the easiest ones to get out. So we're gonna start on those. But uh, before we start messing with any seats, you gotta remember there's airbags and pretensioners uh, connected through all these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, one of the battery terminals and let it discharge for five or 10 minutes before I do anything, just in case we're disconnecting uh, any of the yellow connectors for the airbags. Probably won't in the back, I don't think, but um, it's just good practice anyway. And then I get the front ones out as well. Um, and then we're ready, give it a good clean in between and off we go. So I really am figuring this out as I go along. There's no, there probably is a manual that tells me how to get these all out, but having done this on other cars before, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. So um, these came off pretty easily. <laughs> these just uh, pull and sort of out and up. Uh, these are the things that you rest your children's weary heads on when they're uh, sitting in the back. And that exposes a bit of wiring up here. Um, the seat base, as with most cars, just pull it up, just pops out. So let's get these out of the way. So this cable, much like the sort of cable that you get, you know, like your brake cable on a bicycle uh, or a clutch cable or whatever. Uh, can you see that in there? So it's got a little sort of sprung junction. I'm just gonna pull one end of that out and that will allow us to uh, pull the seat out. So that's the bit that um, when you pull the catch in the boot, that's the bit that uh, lets the seat drop forward and fold down. Right, I'll tell you what I've just done. This lever here uh, sort of angles the the front, uh, you know, angles the seating position backwards like that so that you can sort of lift your knees up in the air or down a little bit. Just gives me a little bit more vertical space to get the, uh, the drill onto this if I'm just being a bit lazy, so. Uh, So here you can see, apart from the filth, please ignore the filth. Uh, bolt here, bolt there. What is that? Oh, a pen. Of course it is, yeah. Chuck it there with the rest of the junk. And a few pennies and stuff, so let's undo this. Oh, crap. Flipping off. Right. Well, unless there's any secret BMW bolts, and there very well might be, um, that's generally what I expect for big bolts and, uh, and a ton of wiring, more than likely. So let's uh, see if we can get the seat out without wrecking the car. So this is the underside. This is the driver's seat tipped up backwards a little bit. Here's the module that all the wiring up 
appears to be going into. The rest of it should be a self-contained unit, apart from the seat belt that we've got to figure out. Or is it this end that needs to pull off like this? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is the bit that belongs to the car. I'm just gonna pull this. There we go, it's just one of those black. There we go, the car is free electrically. Great success. Okay, so I'm kneeling at the driver's side door, steering wheel's just here. This trim, I figured out the best way is to lever it this way, and there are just little plastic pop studs that pop out. So that comes off. Then this large piece of trim that goes up here over the steering wheel. There's a, a number of locators here, which just pop out. You just have to be a bit careful, and you tend to lose a few uh, down these, uh, you know, the, uh, the white locators. They slide into the plastic piece here, and they pop into the, the metal, and that's how they join. Um, when you pop them out, sometimes they dis, you know, dis, dislocate themselves from the plastic and you lose them down the carpet. But we've fetched the ones I can see out anyway. Um, and that there is the seat belt roll. It goes up behind this bar here. And then there's a bit more trim up here, which looks like that it's the same poppers that will pop out um, yet to investigate that so I'm going to unbolt this and get it out and uh, figure out how to get a bit out the top and then that's the driver's seat out I reckon. So just having a look at the driver's seat as I've taken it out now if I'd have looked a bit closer the mechanism down here had a little bracket like this I was looking at this before and it sits on the roll uh, like that. I've just unscrewed it off and uh, sorry about it being a bit shaky. If you get the screwdriver in there it looks as though <laughs> you can just take the belt right off. But I bloody realised that. Could have just left the, uh, the reel in couldn't I? Well I can do that on the passenger side now if I don't want to change the seat belt roll. Let's see how springy the new ones are when they turn up and I'll make that call in. Okay, so after a cup of tea later, everything's out. Back seats we started with, we've got the driver's seat out, took the whole uh, seat belt reel out, not sure we needed to actually, because what I've done on the passenger side is left the reel in and disconnected it from the seat, which is probably what I should have done for the driver's side, but hey ho, I was figuring it out as I went. So, apart from loads of bolts left, and I kind of want to leave them left around, there's just a bit of cleaning to do. So I'm going to get the hoover out and remove all of the junk uh, tell you what, look how much money I've made. Look at that. It's got to be about three or four quid there. Wow, made it worth it, didn't it? Um, so yeah, give it a hoover out and then uh, await the seats whenever they come. So in typical fashion, I got ahead of myself again and realised, oh shit, the centre console has to come out as well. Of course it does. Um, so I got all the seats out, so what we need to do is get this part of it out. Now this bit of trim here is staying so this is not part of what is coming, but this bit of trim and so all of this, this, are gonna match the new leather and I'm guessing the back bit here as well. It's difficult to tell from the pictures because I bought the leather interior on eBay. So uh, we'll see uh, how it all comes. But yeah, the center console has to come out. First thing I've done is remove this tiny little bit of plastic trim.
Right then, delivery has just come. Oh yes. I quite like this colour. Managed to get, uh, I'm not sure whether it's cinnamon brown or whatever, but it's uh, a nice chestnutty sort of brown colour. And I think it's going to go really nice with the, uh, the black dash and the shiny black. So it's just a small matter of swapping over the door cards now. So here's the passenger old undo. This is the existing, the old one, the fabric on. I've just removed the speaker and also the uh, door opening uh, clip. That's just there. Put the new speaker on. Here's the uh, the brown door card. Uh, just get that tightened up and put the first one on, and then then do these ones. There we go.